Contour is a visual analysis technique for exploring relationships of heterogeneous datasets. It was developed to support drug discovery. Contour shows multiple related datasets in columns. Each row in each column corresponds to a data item. Contour is all about finding important relationships, but can also show detailed visualizations about the items. Here we see a pathway view and several compounds. But let's start from the beginning. There are pathways, genes, compound activity data, compounds, biological fingerprints of compounds, clusters of these fingerprints, and therapeutic groups that classify compounds. Items either show a label or use a small plot of their attributes, as you can see for the fingerprint data. Hovering over one item highlights all other items that are related to it. Selecting items moves all the related items to the top. We either highlight items that are related to any of the selected items, or only those that are related to all selected items. When we select these compounds, we see that all of them target the same two genes. We can filter out items that are not related to a selection. As we can add related items back in. All filters are recorded in the filter view, where we can remove filters on demand. Items can also be filtered based on item properties. For example, we can search for a keyword, or filter based on numerical or categorical attributes. Here we set an upper limit for the micromolar activity and remove all activating compounds. Columns can be flexibly added, removed, reordered, and duplicated. We can nest columns to reveal the relationships between the items of two different columns. Here we nest columns to show all genes related to each pathway. Bars encode the number of all, the filtered or the selected genes. Genes are shown when expanding the whole column or when expanding individual representations. Nesting is a natural way to associate closely related data. Activity data, for example, is tightly coupled with genes. And clusters are based on fingerprints. The activity and fingerprint columns show summary statistics about their attributes. We can switch the representations on demand. Multiple columns can be nested within the same parent column. which also works recursively. This is an easy way to spot the items that are commonly related to different parents. For example, the antidepressants group and cluster 13 are both related to these two compounds. To see which therapeutic group and clusters correlate well with respect to compounds, we can rank the columns by an enrichment score. We choose to calculate the score for pairs of therapeutic groups and cluster via common compounds. We can also define a minimum threshold of common compounds. And rank the cluster column by the same score. The highest score is found for the group hormone replacement therapy and cluster 25. Once we found an interesting item, we can look at its details. The pathway detail view shows the whole pathway graph together with boxes representing mapping compounds and clusters.
We can also look at the chemical structure of compounds. This completes our tour of contour. Thanks for watching.